parent came up to us and asked if we knew anything about this program. I told the parent, no, I did not. He started getting us information, and then I said I thought it would be a good program. Our group motto is student run, student done. I told them early on from the beginning I would get them a spot. I would get them a, um, what did I tell you guys I'd get, get you? I have three, three things. Money, a spot, and a team number. I love robotics. I love tour bots. Torbots has inspired me to take after a STEM related major in college. Torbots helped me improve my time management skills, better communicate with others, and most importantly of all, gracious professionalism. So Torbots has a great relationship with our sponsors. We provide opportunities for them to donate their time in the form of mentorship. One of the things that Torbots does for our sponsors is we visit them, we can provide overviews of our robots, demonstrations, and we can talk about the great work that our program does in the community. We often invite our sponsors to the shop or bring our robots to them. We have given demonstrations at Boeing and Northrop Grumman. When I first joined robotics four years ago, I always felt a little out of place just because there wasn't that many girls on the engineering side. Now I'm happy to say four years later, we definitely have a lot more girl participation on the team. In 2002, my parent came up to me and said, there's this idea about having a robotics competition. So every year since then, I think we've wanted to see how we could be better than last year. We started as a group of 12 guys building one robot. Now we're a group of 75 people. We still build a robot, but we engage the middle schools. We engage our elementary schools. We engage the community in ways that we never thought of. We've done, since then, we've done seminars on uh, computer-aided design with Inventor, on pneumatics, and on systems engineering. But in order to, for our team to do better technically, we also have to be making a bigger impact in our community. Um, we started the FLL team at Cali Mayer Middle School with the donation, and we currently mentor the FLL team at Richardson Middle School. Um, and every week, those kids come around and they get to see what we do. We've taken something that was very small, and now we sell hot chocolate at Christmas time to people looking at Christmas lights. At our Sleepy Hollow fundraiser, I talked to people of all ages about the cool things that Torbots at first do. We've engaged the community in ways we never thought we could do 13 years ago. We send people all around the world doing amazing things. And some of them say that this time, this high school time they had here, is the best time they had.